Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about my most favourite tools for game development which I have used in the past and I have probably shown you quite a few of these but a lot of them you may not have seen. I'll try and get as many as I can into one video, sorry guys if this takes a long time but please enjoy. First and foremost obviously I'm going to say big ups to you Unity. Unity I would use day in day out for the last 4 or 5 years and I just enjoyed the living crap out of it. I mean I, that's how I learned how to program, that's how I learned most of that sort of stuff and how I learned to make games is pretty much all through Unity. Why? Because it's easy to use, it's incredibly cheap and by cheap I mean free and for the beginner you can learn programming so quickly with it because it's so entertaining to use and you just get motivated by the stuff you create so i would definitely put unity on the number one software i've ever used but obviously you know that so we'll skip over that and get to the next one next up we've got some voxel editing software now if you don't know what voxel editing software is it's basically minecraft and if you don't know what minecraft is then i suggest you join the internet with the rest of us so this program is called Magica Voxel and it is definitely my number one 3D modeling software which doesn't sound like much but believe me it is so easy and so much fun and not tedious at all to create whatever the hell you want and I usually use it as a prototype to what I want the final product to look like. So once I afford or whatever to pay for a 3D artist I will give them these voxels and I'll tell them hey turn this into a character. Basically it's Minecraft so you have fun just building stuff and then you put it on unity in like two steps and it's even textured and stuff like that so it's just a great program to use overall and i would definitely recommend it to you all you guys it is 100 percent free so there will be a link in the description below uh to a direct link um to download it so if you're looking to create a MOBA and you have $65 just lying around, do not hesitate to buy this asset pack. It is by far the best asset pack I've ever downloaded. It looks beautiful, you can make incredible maps out of it, and basically throughout the tutorials that I've left in the past, this is what I use. Nothing will ever come close in quality to this asset pack. It is by far my favorite and most, I'd say, overused asset pack that I've ever used in Unity. In fact, I put it in every game, even if it's not a MOBA. Some of the assets on there are just amazing and, might I say, to scale as well. Which is something you don't really find on many assets in the asset store. So definitely check this one out, guys, if you have the free time. Next up I've used a little bit but not too much because basically I don't really like to create these magical type games but that's just my personal preference. However, when I do use it, it is bloody amazing and there is over 300 different types of spells and stuff like this. It's called the Magic Arsenal and by far it is worth the price that you paid because every month or so they keep adding new spells and stuff like that. It started off with like 50 and now it's at 300 so that's what you got to expect when you buy from these guys. Also if you're trying to make stuff on a mobile device these things run like a beauty. They just, they just, they're just flawless. This thing will in no way ever let you down. If you're wanting to create a MOBA with, I guess, magic in it, which let's face it, most are, then I would definitely recommend buying this. It is $20, which is kind of steep for particle systems because it is a very small part of your game. But that having been said, I would still recommend it if you want that in your final look because it is cheap, it will save you a hell of a lot of time creating particles and you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's good stuff. So this next one basically saved me a lot of hours of programming. It's called Combat Text and basically it's like where hit points and stuff like that get taken off a character then it shows little text in front of them on the screen and by golly it saves you a lot of time. I won't spend too much time on this one because there's not much to show but it does sell on the asset store for $10 and I would say it was worth it if it wasn't programmable easily but it is programmable easily so probably not the best thing to buy unless you have the disposable money and you want to save a few hours of your day. Next up is the low poly forest ruins and by far these things look great. It's a cheaper alternative to the manufacturer K4. So for the low low price of $25 you can get yourself this beautiful bundle. It does look amazing in game just as it does in the trailer. It's not one of those tricky ones. So this one comes for the low low price of $25 and I would recommend it to anyone who cannot afford the manufacturer K4 one. 
because it gives you a shit ton of trees, rocks, foliage, and a few other man-made objects as well in there, and it really does make the map look bloody nice. In fact, I would prefer this grass texture over the Manufacturer K4 texture, but that's just my personal preference. Also, one of the benefits of actually purchasing or just using pre-made assets when you start off your game is that it really does motivate and inspire you to keep going forward. And that is why I think it is important to get a 3D artist to actually keep producing some 3D models for yourself. But if you cannot afford a 3D artist, or you don't have a friend who knows that, or you can't do it yourself, then I would recommend buying something cheap like this product. Uh, you know, it gives you that very nice look to your game and really inspires you to motivate and push forward through programming or whatever else you're doing so praise the heavens this next one's free it's called the free skybox cartoon pack something free fa <laughs> fuck it's called the fantasy skybox free all right and believe it or not it's bloody free i use this quite a lot actually um for a lot of the games we actually look up in the sky so not really for your moba type stuff um, unless you're making something like Overwatch e, but a bit more cartoonish. I would definitely recommend this. I've probably used this in every single game that I've ever made as my starting skybox and it is incredibly easy to use. Literally drag and drop, you're fine, you're sussed and it's free. Did I mention it's free? Of course I bloody mentioned it's free. <laughs> Next on the list is the stylized nature pack and this thing looks amazing the first time i played firewatch i pretty much went onto the asset store to try and find something like it and this thing was sitting there waiting for me so i did purchase it and it is kind of i guess 15 dollars maybe a bit too much for what you get because it's very a small amount of assets but it looks amazing would totally recommend this for anybody who's planning on making some sort of survival type game that they want a very stylized look to this thing will definitely give you what you need and $15 will probably make you the full game plus if you actually use the cartoon skybox that I mentioned before that they just work together like a charm I made a game like that with them both then in fact I, I might show it or I might not um, but yeah they just work so well together so $15 for both of those and they work amazing okay finally the last one on our list and I want to say a massive shout out or to whoever the hell created this thing it is amazing it's called the medieval world creation kit and basically you recreate your own Skyrim it's even got the same quality of Skyrim maybe a bit less maybe heading towards more of the oblivion stages but yeah it has got some amazing stuff on there and you pretty much just walk in there just to create the maps because nothing else really matters after that you just chuck a, a first person controller in there and you just walk around these maps that you create and it is by far one of the most entertaining experiences just building a map with these assets and I would recommend you buying it unfortunately it does cost a lot similar to the other one the manufacturer 4k k41 sorry uh, $65 and it is available on the unity asset store obviously um, but by far would recommend this so that's pretty much it for the list uh, there's not much else that i use other than the obvious stuff you know photoshop um audacity for recording photoshop for gui and stuff like that uh fl studio i use a lot for for the music side of things so when i'm creating like orchestral tracks and stuff fl studio is great to use um unreal's okay the reason I don't like Un the Unreal Engine is because it by default makes things look pretty. You don't have to do much work on the whole aesthetics thing in order to get your pretty looking visuals and stuff like that. Um, that's why you, uh, I like Unity because you actually create a game from the ground up almost. It's almost like a really basic gaming engine. But it's 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 useful. I'm not going to deny that. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. So hopefully you guys are getting on very well with your MOBAs that you guys are creating and I'd love to see them. So please leave them in the comments. As per usual, all links that you will want will definitely be in the description below. Uh, no ad fly or anything like that. We'll make sure to keep that stuff out of there. If there is anything I left out of this list, then please leave a comment below telling me what I should put in my next game developer helping uh, top 10 things I don't even think that was 10 so that's how pathetic I am at making these videos I didn't even have 10 in my top 10 
And if you find yourself in need of any other tutorials, please, dear God, leave them in the description and I will try my best to answer them. I'm in a real good mood now. I've got not much else to do, so I am pumping out these tutorials like nothing. So, hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.